Openness is key to successful feedback, conflict resolution, and creating collaborative relationships. If you don't have feedback, there's a real danger. You'll create cliques and moaning circles in your team. Over here, I've got some cards. And if I said to this person over here, what do you see? Let's say I see some red cards and a blue card. And usually they say, two red and a blue. I would say back, well, that's your perception, but I have one, two, three, four cards. I might then say to somebody over here, what do you notice? And they might say, well, we see more blue cards. I see three blue cards and only one red card. Now, if this person over here runs that thinking, the way I see the world is the way the world is, and that person over there runs that same thinking, the way I see the world is the way the world is, what's going to happen between those two people? Bit of a row, bit of an argument. And the interesting thing is, neither of them saw what was really there. You'll have your truth. Do not confuse it with the truth. You will have your opinion. Do not confuse that with reality. And that's what we're inclined to do. We're inclined to think my view on the world is the right one. Imagine looking at your back garden. Somebody from the upstairs bedroom window, somebody from the kitchen, somebody from the basement. Are all the views the same? Of course not. Which view is right? They're all right. Well, why do we argue so much? Because you see, when we argue, we have fallen into that trap. I'm right, you're wrong. Crippled by the strong belief my view is always right. Crippled by the strong belief my view is always right. You see, the downside of arguing is you stay locked in your narrow view in the world. You're not taking into account the wider perspectives. You're staying there. Wisdom comes from having those multiple perspectives. Harry Potter, the biggest selling book after the Bible, I'm told, turned down by all the major book publishers, who sat around tables, do we publish this? Have you read it? This is so OTT. They were totally convinced their view was right and refused to publish. Mr. Daimler of the motor car company, beginning of last century, he said, the motor car will never catch on because there won't be enough chauffeurs totally convinced he was right. You see, if I show you my hand and I say, what do you see? You might say, well, I see some fingernails. No, there's no fingernails there. And you might say, well, I see hairs. No, there's no hairs. We have just different viewpoints on the one situation. When I'm convinced that I am right, I'm making the other person wrong. When you make the other person wrong, does this help openness between us? No, it's the language which closes down relationships. If you run right and wrong in your thinking, particularly when it comes to conflict, I'm convinced I am right, you are wrong, you must change. And of course the other person is in that same position. They're convinced they are right, you are wrong, and you must change. And if we're running that in our thinking, I am right, you are wrong, you must change, is that the mindset to resolve conflict or create it? It's the mindset to create conflict, and 99.999% of us run that mindset. We think we are right. Crippled by that strong belief that I'm always right. What about the person who's very open with their opinion? Hey, somebody needs to tell it like it is around here. What about those people? Well, what's the point of expressing your viewpoint if you alienate people to it? Surely the trick is to express your viewpoint so that people will be open to it. If you want more openness, if you want people taking more ownership, so they begin to talk to you, be open with you, rather than moaning behind your back, then you need to make it safe for people to be open with you. And how do you make it safe? by welcoming their feedback and taking their feedback seriously. You cannot make somebody more open with you. It has to be their choice. And the door to somebody else 
it's a funny door because there's only one handle and it's on the inside. I can't go over to you and I want to open the door. No. You can open up your door to me if you feel it's safe. And you might want to open up that door just a little bit in cliche conversation. A little more about your opinion. A bit wider about your feelings. Or maybe totally because you feel totally safe with me. To what extent people will open the door to themselves depends on what they perceive to be out there. And if they feel it to be cynical, put downish, judgmental, guess what? They're going to keep that pretty closed. To make your place of work an even better place to work, make it safe for people to be open. Welcome their feedback and take their feedback seriously. And maybe the greatest kindness I can offer somebody is my truth.